Hey there, how's it going? I'm Eric, and this is my third year doing Extra Life. I'm so excited to be doing it once again and raising money for Johns Hopkins University. They saved my oldest daughter's life twice, and through an affiliated hospital, um, they saved my youngest children's lives when they had to be in a NICU from being born premature. This year, I've got lots of great incentives that I hope will in inspire you to donate money to my Extra Life campaign. Uh, first of all, in a first this year, I'm going to be um, donating, matching donations for the first $100. So for every dollar you put in, I'll also put in a dollar. In addition to that, for every dollar you donate, I'm going to be doing sit-ups or push-ups. One sit-up per dollar. So if you really want to make me suffer, donate lots and lots of money and I'll have to do lots and lots of push-ups. Uh, last year, Dan donated 100 bucks, and I had to do 100 push-ups and boy was I winded at the end of that. This year, I've got a goal of $500 and I'd really, really like to reach it. This is way more than I've ever tried for, but it's really important to me because it really helps a lot. It helps provide lots and lots of um, healthcare for kids that can't afford it and for, for families that really need it. If we do reach $500, then I'll be coming up with some stretch goals that we can do and see if we can get to 1,000. That would be mind-blowing, but if we could do it, think of all the lives you could be helping. Thanks a lot, and enjoy this game. Bye. It's time for Every Place Civ 6 Game 3, Spain Episode 5. Oops, there I am. Hey guys, how's it going? We have a new donation. Dan. Sorry, I always get that backwards. <laughs> uh, Dan has donated $100. That is amazing. In fact, I think we should start a uh, sibling rivalry here. I think sibling rivalries are nice and healthy. Uh, so, uh, Dave, come on, man. Can you beat Dan? Can you show that you are the best brother and not Dan? <laughs> um, so, anyway, uh, you know, as always, um, thanks, Dan, for for um, the donation. Um, you know, Dan, uh, unlike, uh, well, you know, Dan happens to know exactly how much this means to me because he was there, um, when Scarlett was in the hospital and, uh, he knows what, uh, what, um, Johns Hopkins Children's Center did for Scarlett, um, which is basically the save her life, um, through a series of, series of surgeries. Um, so that's really awesome. Uh, and I thank you for that. Uh, so normally when Dan donates, I do, um, Splunky. But at the moment, um, I'm so busy with work and with the kids that <coughs> that uh, I only really have one day a week to play uh, games. And sometimes I use that time to do something else. Uh, and I've got this game of Civ 6 that I really want to um, get through. And, uh, of course, I'll play the Civ 5 games. Um, Dan finally played his turns, so um, it'll be time to... Um, get back on the Civ 5 multiplayer games pretty soon as well. Um, so, so there's that. Uh, so, uh, I think what I'll do um, to make the best use of my use of my time is I will um, I'll do push-ups and or sit-ups uh, while the computer's playing. So, um, right now, uh, the game should be popping up any minute now. I'm in the game. Why is it not showing? Uh, sigh. Where is my game? Where is my game? Do, 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 do. Where is my game? Window. Ah, the, mm, the game changed its, uh, what it called itself. Okay. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna let this next turn play out. And while that goes, I will do my first set of uh, push-ups. Or, yeah, push-ups. Right. 
there we go. Keep track of where I am on this piece of paper. Unfortunately, as I go to the game here, here, uh, my my turn is past already. Um, there's nothing to do in my turn. So back to physical activity for me. See if I get any luckier this time around. No, once again, nothing to do. <sighs> Let's see, 16 turns there, 50 turns there, 45 turns, three turns. All right, I'm gonna end up doing all these things uh, right away. Let's do it. Looks like some Sikhism just spread in my territory. This is what I see as uh, bad about Civ 6. Everything takes forever, so if you're not waging war, you can just sit here for quite some time, not doing much. But, uh, oh, cool, I can send an envoy. Excellent. Envoy time, envoy time. So I'm scissoring here. <coughs> huh, it doesn't tell me who's uh, close to me or anything, doesn't. All right. Let's work our, let's definitely get to three envoys here because that will give us extra production, which we can definitely use. I'm not sure what an effect that had, but it might need to wait a turn. All right. Push up time again. Well, that was kind of anticlimactic unless you happen to have a certain fetish, I guess. All right, I don't know what the heck I just did there. Governmental. Uh, okay. Oh, good. I've got some industrialization. All right, so that gives me factories. This valley thing. Coal. And plus one on mines. Okay. So we've got coal right here. All right, so we need to um, build a uh, builder on the next turn, which we'll do. All right, back to push-ups. Oh, colonialism, excellent. All right. Who's going to spray with the colors? Cute. All right. Uh, I'll just leave all that alone for now. It's not time to change governments, is it? No. But we do have Raj. Well, that's cool. Let's do this one. Confirm. That should help me with my science victory. How am I doing on that, by the way? I am in second place still, but I'm definitely doing more per turn. All right. 
Yes, automatic defense I love. Okay. So, before I do anything else, we definitely need a builder. Alright, got another envoy to send. One building, buildings, wonders, and districts. Alright, let's get to six with this guy. Um, this Kniggit needs orders. I'll put him on this border here just in case. Alright. I forgot what I was uh, doing, but I think it's uh, sit up time. orders. Uh, so for now, let's just have them be on alert over here. All right. Oh, I love medics. Medics are great. Okay. Well, next turn. This guy wants to be BFFs. Sure. He's right on my border here, so why not? All right. It's time again. Oh, it's still the same one, but uh, I can do a set of sit-ups, I think. Crunches. Oh, no. It's my turn again. All right. Mm, but what's for not? Okay, let's go. Just two more to go, and I'll be done with the exercise. Which, frankly, is a nice diversion from waiting for these things to be built. Three more turns for this builder. All right, choose production. All right, a workshop increases production. Let's do a workshop because everything else will go faster afterwards. All right, I completed a quest and earned an envoy. That's cool. And people need housing. All right, we'll get there. We'll get there. What's this guy building again? Oxford. Somehow I think I'm going to be scooped, but uh, what are you going to do? All right, so I need push-ups and then crunches, but I'm going to wait. I think it might be my turn soon. Got some milk here that we're not farming, I think. Yeah. What's this over here? Terracotta army. Look at that cool little army. So I just finished reading Warbreaker. They've got a terracotta army of sorts in there. It's pretty awesome. Uh, if I remember, I'll talk about that in a minute. This serious looking dude wants something. So they're willing to give me a bunch of stuff just for some pearls. I mean, not a lot compared to, well, yeah, a pretty decent amount compared to what they've got. All right, we'll do it. You're welcome, friend. She wants some tea. 
Now, how stereotypical is that? That's pretty freaking ridiculous, right? But I'll take the money. You can have some tea. Crazy eyebrows. You look like a freaking... What's that studio? DreamWorks character. the last set of uh, crunches. All right, so I've got my builder. Let's go mine some coal. They're saying to build missions. All right. So they're saying commercial out hubs or theaters. For now... Let's do, hard to decide, what do they need? Where's my, where's my thing that shows the city information? All right, they've got amenities. They've got housing, they could use more housing. Let's see if I did the Great Delight House be out in the water. If I did Colossus, it'd be out in the water. Alright, I like Colossus more. Let's do Colossus. Remove the fish. Let's do it here then. Boom shakalaka. Alright, next turn. Okay. got your physical fitness out of me. Heaven help me if David donates $200 because of my challenge. All right. There we go. Let's get back to... Ooh. Are you sick enough yet? <laughs> Let's get back to the game. Next turn. All right, so first things first, um, I want to really thank Dan because thanks to his donation, uh, we're now at the highest donation point I've ever been, I think. Let me double check. Yeah, in... Uh, in uh, 2015, I got to 309, uh, oh, crazy little number. But now I'm at, I wanna say I'm at uh, 325 or 350. I think this page will have it, let's see. Yeah, I'm at 350, so I'm at the highest I've ever been, which is great. So exciting, thank you so much, Dan, for doing that. I'm so excited now. Um, All right, so the Terracotta Army uh, Sanitation. Okay, great. Claim a great person. I can get a great scientist. Gain for each natural wonder tile here or adjacent. I took. Hmm. All right, I'll just take them. Madrid. Hmm. 
Madrid's okay on amenities. Madrid's okay on housing. Excellent. Let's do a workshop then. All right, you. Where? I mean, I don't know if I have any of those. This may be one of those things where I just stole them so other people don't get them. I'll have them go chill in the middle of things over here. Sorry, dude. Didn't mean to offend you like that. My great people. All right. Cool. All right. Let's uh, four to four. skip a turn. Sleep. Let's go to sleep. So, uh, yeah, I just finished reading Warbreaker by uh, Brandon Sanderson. My first ever Sanderson novel. Um, I like it a lot. It was really, really good. Um, it's one of his first ones. I think it might be his second one ever written. First one being Elantris, which is the next one I'm going to read. Um, I got them as part of a hum humble bundle. And uh, they are... It's really good. Um, <coughs> and there's a basically a major plot point around a terracotta army of sorts. Um, the uh, story has people that can awaken, which is to uh, give life to uh, the things that are not alive. And one of the things that they do is awaken an army. And then they don't need to sleep or eat or anything. So it's very uh, beneficial for um, the country that has that. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go for cattle and then wheat. Probably the best. So many things. I should probably build another one next time I get to in about four turns. Not sure what I need coal for, but uh, at least I have access to it. I hate the game. Oh, hey, Miglin. Thanks so much for, for hosting. Um, definitely check out his stream um, if you haven't already. He's a uh, system proof faith. I don't give a darn about that. Let's go. All right, you are in the way, dude. You can come give us some cattle. Um. He usually plays some really fun games, and he's a really good guy. Um, and uh, he does host me a lot, which is really cool, too. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought the magic system in Warbreaker was quite well thought out. Um, and uh, the story um, had a lot of depth, a lot of characters grew. It was good. I don't want to oversell it, but uh, ooh, plus food and production, heck yeah. Um, it did also have one of my favorite tropes in Warbreaker. Um, those guys, or AKA Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, a couple comic relief guys who uh, are really fun uh, every time they, they speak. Toledo. All right, let's see where we're at in science. I'm three texts behind. Assuming he's going straight for the text we need for space, that is. Otherwise, I don't think it really matters that I'm behind. In fact, if I go here and then go to Science Victory, um, yeah, we'll see. We shall see. Look at this little water wheel over here. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. 
This gotta be upgraded. Guess not. I mean, I'm kind of going specifically for the science um, victory, so I'm not surprised um, if he cannot be upgraded. Cause I'm all right. Guilds gives us Chichen Itza. And natural history gives us the zoo and the hermitage and the archaeologist and antiquity site, sure, whatever. All right, so before we do anything else, we need the builder. I want to tap everything that I can tap, and then we'll stop worrying about builders. Uh, dang, man. Talk about backhanded compliments. I guess let's turn the desktop audio back on here, right? And I'm going to hear what it's, they're saying, too. now <laughs> I may actually get another wonder out there we'll see from Toledo. Let's see who gives us the most science. Rio does. Let's do Rio then. Rio de Janeiro. After I'm done with these builders, I should probably do some military before people start thinking they can push me around. tea some stuff out there this elephant and some rice he wants a trade route huh too late alright so let's go do some ivory stuff It would be insane if I could build airplanes and I've got freaking archers defending me, but uh, we'll see what happens after this, because I think I'll be able to do it. I don't know. Such is the uh, rush for tech that you can do in this game. Since they don't bind you by, uh, by era, I don't think. They've gone back and forth on that throughout the series.
All right, I think I'm gonna basically see if I get Colossus and then I'll head to bed, most likely. Or at least um, go work on some other stuff. Once you have tasted flight, you will walk. Alright, so I've got flight working towards steam power now, which is definitely backwards. Someone built the potato palace. Man, look how my city's looking now. Look at these barracks. Nice. Alright, builder, builder, builder. Let's get some gold in production. You slam those elephants into the ground. Ivory and tea. They'll give me coffee and some money. Sure. You're welcome, friend. Let's go get some rice. And you, let's go get some more tea. Alright, so I can build an aerodrome. Of course, why wouldn't I? I've got so freaking much money. Why not build it out here? Oh. Is there a adjacency bonus for putting it by a uh, barracks? Maybe, maybe not. No, because it would show a number, wouldn't it? Hmm. Yeah, maybe there's something else I'd want to put there. I'll put it here. Yes. Yeah, airplanes. I've got a lot of faith. All I can do is buy a synagogue. Yeah. It's boring. <laughs> Seems to defeat the whole purpose of having so much faith. Some housing. You're number one in science, except I'm not. I continue to remain three behind him, despite the fact that I've got more per turn. I think I'm researching harder ones, that's why. <laughs> Alright, Vilnius, to complete my quest. That gave me an envoy, heck yeah. Alright, Builder. Let's see if they could use some mines over here, maybe, to help them do things a little bit more quickly.
you can moment for the computer's technology. Let's this city build one more district than the population limit allows. Nice. Uh, sure, why not Madrid? Alright. I'm sure computers is something I need for my space goal. If not, that'd be pretty ridiculous. Vent and Stockholm are going to war. And Pedro and Stockholm are going to war. Seven more turns. <coughs> In all works on natural history, we constantly fight. All right. Guilds is my only option. Envoy. Cool. That'll help me with my buildings, my wonders, and so on and so forth. Six more turns on there. <laughs> there are six now. Great Admiral. Shinki. Huh, that's cool. I'll save him for now. Science owes more to the steam engine than the steam engine owes to science. All right, chemistry, which will give me a research lab and an AT crew. All right, well, research lab is definitely something we're going to be working towards. Pearls, heck yeah. All right, let's build a mine. to mine some coal. Oh well. Alright. Cool. I've got a trading post. So I think I'm going to kick it till just an, at least one more turn after that guy. Just to set things up before I go. housing. However, now that is cool. Um, let's see. An observation balloon. Interesting. All right.
let's work on a privateer. I think that'll be important if anyone ever starts getting upset with me. Oh, cool. So that's why I'm getting so many great people. All right. No scissoring, huh? That's weird. Maybe one there will be all it takes. Yep. Nice. All right. Okay. We'll go for London, why not? There's my Colossus. Spices? Sure. You're welcome. That's good because I'm Spain. And I was just part of that trade. But uh, wait to tell me something I already know. Alright, let's go with. This place. All right, let's get some more pearls. All right. Oh, I've got more ivory to get over there. Excellent. Pillaging a library, that makes me upset. Should never do that. You can't go. At Rhodes was set up a colossus of 70 cubits high, representing the sun. The artist expended as much bronze in it as seemed likely to create a dearth in the mines. <laughs> nice. What a cool statue. Heck yeah. It's got like a little mini, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Stonehenge over here in the bottom and everything. You can't go around arresting them. All right. Dippies. Madrid. Mossa Michel. Heritage, Mausoleum, Mausoleus. All right. Let's get a... A frigate. And here... What does this give me again? Golden faith and great admiral points. Eh? Let's do. What is this guy doing again? I forget. Let's do a medic. Let's 
do a workshop to issue production. Um, let's trade with Rio for science. Let's get some coal. Still in second. Catching up though. All right, screw it. Let's see if I get uh, Oxford after all this time. Wow, this is not a very complicated airfield if this is all we've got with one turn left. I like these uh, satellite dishes up here though, being guarded by a archer. Alright, look at that, they've got their airport over there little windsock over here. All right. Factory would increase production. All right, do we need housing at this time? Hmm, it wouldn't hurt. Let's build a freaking biplane, man, heck yeah. sure where he gets out of coal. Eh, why not? still be friends. <coughs> working on my Navy, working on my Air Force. Clever men at Oxford know all there is to be known, but they none of them know one half as much as intelligent Mr. Toad. Hmm. I like the window willows. Alrighty. Now, hopefully, I'll surpass uh, Brazil. The more science intervenes Brazil. in warfare, the more will be the need for engineers in the field armies. In the late war, 
There were never enough sappers at any time. So I've got uh, could build an armory. Military engineer. And excess Tactics nighter. mean doing what you can with what you have. Pikeman. Alright, let's see where we're at now. Now I'm in charge. Yes, yeah, sucker. Good luck catching up now. Alright, so I've got some nighter. And some more nighter somewhere. Or something. Nighter. Not sure where it's trying to tell me to look. Hmm. Well, whatever. All right, Toledo. You've got all your amenities. You've got all your housing. Excellent. Let's do a pipe in. Pretty good for tonight, I think. So the first part is hmm. I feel like oh this is a little weird but let's see here tech tree chemistry radio rocketry which will lead to a spaceport huh this was silo launch earth satellite I see, so an Earth satellite apparently doesn't need satellites. Launch moon landing. Hmm. <laughs> so, if I look here, step one is spaceport rocketry and Earth satellite. Spaceport. So I want to look at I'll save really quickly. If I look at the Civclopedia somehow somewhere. Forgot where it was. Is it here? Get me in 
desert, grassland, plain, snow, or tundra. Okay. So I'm going to probably want to put it in my best building city. Valencia is 21. Saragossa is 15. Madrid is 23. So Madrid or Toledo. Toledo. So Madrid or Toledo. And they've both got land where it can go. So that's good. All right. I think it's uh, time to go. I just saved, right? But I'll save one more time. All right, so um, thanks for watching. Um, thanks again, um, Dan, for the uh, for the donation. Well appreciated. And uh, stupid thing won't stay put. And uh, challenge issued to Dave. Let's do it, dude. Come on, let's do it. I've been Eric, and uh, I am Eric, <laughs> and this has been Civ6. See you next time. Bye.